So a lot of people have been asking us how we get internet on our boat, um, which is a pretty valid question. Um, and it's pretty essential for people who work aboard. This is the magic. This is a Nighthawk M1. Um, I got it off of Amazon for about 150 bucks. You can find them 150 to 180 bucks unlocked. So you can use any carrier that you want. Um, I put a, I'll put a link in the description. It runs off a uh, cellular. Um, so there's a couple pieces to make internet work on the boat. This is one. Um, so the way that this guy works, if you flip the back off here, this is just a lithium battery. And if you look right here, this is just a this is just a standard phone SIM card comes right out of there. So the way that this works is you can get a plan either through we have AT and T, so you can get a plan through AT and T, and if you get a data plan, you can just get a chip, stick it in here, you're good to go. Um, if you have a cell phone that the chip comes out. Um, you can use your handy dandy little pen or whatever you need to do to pop that little SIM card out of the side. You can take that SIM card out of here, off, out of your phone and stick it in here and it will absolutely work. Um, I have no clue about Verizon or T-Mobile or the rest of them, but I do know that the AT&T SIM card, which is what this is, this came right out of my phone. Um, so the difference between using something like this and just tethering with your phone if you tether with your phone, you're going to get like anywhere from two to five megs up and down, um, which is a limitation of the cellular carrier. Um, it's just a cap that they put on phones. You're not going to get, I mean, even though it's unlimited data and yeah, you'll be able to stream movies and stuff on your phones and whatnot, but there is a cap on when you like the physical device itself. This thing here gets anywhere from... I don't know, with the same chip in my phone that I've tethered with, I get 26 to 50 some megs down and about anywhere from 12 to 19 megs up. So that's the difference between using these little Nighthawks. Now, the other little piece of this, which I'll show you right here, is uh, this is called a MIMO antenna. The MIMO antenna is a multiple in, multiple out antenna, which means it can broadcast the signal for a long distance and it can also pick up signals from a long distance away. So the way that we use these are these little ends right here end up going into the ends of these right here. So you just plug them in and they run them up your boat or your mast. In our case we have them on our solar array um, and so it just sits up there and when the signal isn't that great, uh, we can plug it in and it usually puts our cell signal, uh, you know, if it's like one or two bars, I can plug that in and it's usually back up to five or six bars on this thing. Cause I think this goes to six. Um, the cables you can get in five, 10, 20 foot sections, you're going to have to drill a hole somewhere in your boat to put the antenna outside and then get the antenna inside. Uh, to the router. Um, um, along with our solar array, we have 700 watts of solar. Um, we have two D4 batteries that we fit in our Catalina 30, which is a little bit different than most boats. Um, uh, the reason we wanted to do that is because these are 200 amp hours a piece and we wanted refrigeration on the boat and we wanted to be able to charge two laptops, two phones, an iPad, our navigation equipment and all of our lights. Um, so, so these are some of the add-ons that we have on our boat along with our internet, but that's how we power our internet um, is through the D4 batteries and we charge all of our laptops. And so we have 700 watts of solar and what we've learned for two laptops, we have two MacBooks. No, well, we have a MacBook, a MacBook Air, two iPhones and a tablet. Um, and seven and a refrigerator that's running, um, along with all of our lights and everything and 700 Watts of solar is absolutely s like overkill. We could have done this with 300 Watts of solar, um, easily. Um, so 
but the batteries, the D4 batteries are the, the magic for this because they're 200 amp hours a piece running parallel. So we have 400 amp hours at 12 volts. So we've pretty much got power for days. Uh, we run fans all night, uh, charge our watch movies, run the refrigerator all night. And our both of these batteries are Renergy's um, AGM. And we usually, with uh, our anchor light, fans running, charging phones and listening, you know, lights on and, you know, watching a movie or something like charging our laptops. Uh, in the morning, we're usually about 93% on our batteries still. So they're not a lot of, I mean, we're way overpowered. So anyways, uh, this is a little bit of what we kind of got going on on the boat. But as for those of you who are curious on how we got our internet, um, the other thing I'm going to link to in this site is I'm going to show you this cell mapper. Cellular mapper is pretty cool because you can pick your cellular carrier, you can pick your country, and then you can pick your location. You can map out where you're going and you can see every single cell tower um, along the way. You can also figure out if there's more AT&T or Verizon or T-Mobile cell cellular carriers along the way. And you can, uh, when you get to your Netgear M1, you can figure out what kind of data chips you need along the way to based on you know who's got the most cell towers and who's going to have the most strongest signal so um this is a really cool website uh, i recommend you take a look at it um there's some more stuff here to understand with um uh, how uh, long range antennas work i'm going to link to another video in the comments um, just to kind of watch um, how to understand each each cell tower has a number uh, or a set of numbers and so if you figure out what set of numbers are on the towers that you're going to use either the carrier like let's say verizon is 12 and t-mobile is 64 you want to get a antenna that is matched up with the same number that you're going to use your data chip for um, sounds complicated but it's not but the other this other video here will explain it for you in more detail um, that's it. Happy sailing, fair winds, and following seas.